Abdul Salami finally exposes cause of hardship, insecurity in northern Nigeria. Guys, of a truth, oh, now something, now they call something, oh, we all know say this hardship and insecurity matter where be say it day for this country. Now something I call Samo. So make we come here waiting one of these politicians come they talk about the hardship matter. Former Nigeria head of state where be General Abdul Salami Abu Bakar he don't attributed the ongoing insecurity in the northern part of Nigeria to a combination of poverty, unemployment, and institutional shortcomings. In his address so, at the inaugural international lecture organized by the News Agency of Nigeria, NAN, Abu Bakr, he can highlighted the complex web of issues where we say they contribute to the country's security challenges. And he can emphasize that addressing these problems requires collective action. Speaking to a diverse audience, Abu Bakr he can explain that the root causes of insecurity in the region, it go beyond just criminal activity. So, according to Ram, it say multiple factors such as economic deprivation, unemployment, environmental degradation, and weak governance. It don't create an environment where insecurity strive. Because I made the permitter to note that at the heart of the insecurity in this region, among other factors, are the undercurrents of poverty and unemployment. So, he said the proliferation of small arms and light weapons, weak governance, and institutional failures, as well as climate change and environmental degradation. Now, so it can make it clear. It can also point out that the widespread availability of small arms and light weapons coupled with weak institutional frameworks has exacerbated the insecurity, making it difficult for authorities to restore peace. So, he said these factors have certainly created a fertile ground for insecurity to thrive. He said with devastating impacts on our dear nation, Abu Bakr, he called noted that more. He said despite these challenges, Abu Bakr can urge Nigerians, he said may they not lose hope in the ongoing fight against insecurity, he called call on citizens, same as their partner with the government and security agencies to develop sustainable solutions. He said we go must, however, make sure, say, people, they cooperate with the government and of a truth, may they not lose faith in capacity to raise above the storms of insecurity. He said, as this challenge, now the responsibility of every Nigerian, no be waiting they go live for one person. Abu Bakr Konsti stressed that the task of overcoming insecurity is not then limited to the government alone, but he said it requires the active participation of every citizen. In his speech, the former head of state, he can also emphasize the importance of building a secure future for upcoming generations. Not only must we work together to find solutions 
to our country security challenges. So, they say we go see, make sure say things go well because of the future of the generation of these upcoming children. No, with this, he can't say peace go reign for the northern region, no, and even the world at large. During some the same event, you see, say Nigerian Minister of Information and National Orientation, where be Muhammad Idris, can reinforce Abubakar's call for collective responsibility. Idris, he can emphasize that Nigeria's geographical location makes it particularly vulnerable to insecurity, giving its shared brothers with several conflicts reading Sahelia countries Nigeria shares a large and porous border with several Sahelia countries so caught up in conflict making us vulnerable to the spin over effects of their conflicts he noted that the country's proximity to these war torn regions has made border security a major challenge, further complicating efforts to calm the spread of insurgency and cross border crimes. However, Idris was optimistic about the progress made by the Nigerian government in recent years ago, he consulted the acquisition of new military assets as part of the government's effort to boost the country's defense capabilities. Since the absorption of office 16 months ago, he said 12 aircraft have been acquired to boost the fighting capacity of armed forces, so Naso Ikon and NASA. He said, as Nigeria continues to grapple with the complex issues of insecurity, both Abubakar and Idris, they can stress the importance of unity and collaboration among all stakeholders in order to build a more secure and prosperous nation. No? So, my people, my people, this insecurity matter for this our country. We no say one day, one day, it go better pass as it be, oh. it no go come the worst again, no, because of a truth. The government, it don't see they put in effort, oh, but it need to put in more effort, especially to fight those where be say, it they sponsor these people, where they carry out this criminal act. So my people, this matter in not past like this. So this nabli channel, I bet may you feel free to subscribe to this channel. I salute now.